Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so I'm on the clock and uh, basically I'm going to try to get this upload out there pretty fast, as fast as I can. Um, this is about a friend. I know you guys can hear some shit in the background. You always hear shit in the background. Uh, my equipment is outdated, but eh. So, um, yeah, this is about a friend of mine. Uh, his name's Thomas. Um, I'm not really going to give you guys any more information, but just know it's Thomas. And, uh, yeah, he's, you know, pursuing his dreams uh, really soon. And he's kind of working towards it. And uh, this video, this gameplay, everything you're watching is going to be basically about the main idea of this video. Basically, I'm trying to tell my friend, uh, Thomas, that, you know, on your road to success, never give up. And when I want you to watch the whole video well i want you to watch the whole video not just like the good parts the whole video otherwise you're gonna miss out on some good stuff um but this video portray portrays like was it perseverance yeah it's perseverance um basically i had like all odds against me uh in this game of free for all which i always do which explains why there's not really many game plays up unless like I have something to talk about but um yeah so let's really get into it okay so when I say I was like I had all eyes against me I'm talking like weapons attachments map control spawn control uh location spawns like everything health uh weapons um I already said Right, okay, I already said that shit. Perks, whatever. Oh my god. I sniped. It was the hardest shit of my life. If it wasn't for music and just getting on because I was bored, I never would have got that. Like, this gameplay. The game was laggy as shit. Like, for some reason, I could not pull a host and I had the best internet in the game. But I don't, I don't know. We were playing on some kid's host, and he's like overseas, so it's like you already know it's really gonna be shit for me if he lives overseas. Um, but yes, uh, things didn't really go right in the game. I was leading for most of the game, then I was getting my ass whooped, then I led again, and I don't, I don't know. It just felt pretty glorifying when. Which you guys will see it in the end, but it just felt pretty glorifying when you know I just kept going no matter what the circumstance was. Um, and I had to deal with a lot of bullshit like campers and noob tubes and all that shit. In which nowadays in Call of Duty, I don't think you have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, you probably don't, because they're, they're making everything futuristic and fucking fictional now. But, I don't, I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, when you, when you move out, and you move in with the other teammates, because if those of you that don't know, well, for those, those of you that don't know, I'm a part of an organization, and I recently just became a part of another organization um i will put them in the description and they will be in the description for however long i am a part of those organizations um the first organization which is omega is you know the one that me and thomas are in and when he was thinking about making Omega a thing, I was there in a the chat, and I wanted to be a part of it, and, uh, yeah, he kind of let me be a part of it, and so, now I have to, I have to bring forth my part when Omega launches, I have to do my part, because, you know, other members can't do my part for me, that just wouldn't be right, um, and the second is Tossic. uh, now here's the thing. Tossic is just like three friends plus me like they just came to me tonight and was like dude do you we want you like we need you like do you want to help us blah 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 
I was like, uh, my goals might be different from you guys. I don't know. Well, I'll connect with you guys on a business level. We'll make some videos together, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, because I noticed the guy was a graphic designer. I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, we got the graphic d design thing in common. But I just don't want to join you guys and then go to school for graphics and not, like, talk to you guys. And he was like, oh, you're going to school for graphics also? And then... You know, basically this whole conversation carried on where, like, we pretty much came to the conclusion that all four of us are going to be pretty much entertainers and graphics designers at the same time because we all like graphics design. Uh, I don't know how many of them have their degrees or is getting one, but I know I'm about to start school. If I can actually make it on time and apply fast enough, I can try to get into a nice school that has damn near everything I need. Um, but that's besides the point. Anyways, uh, you know, his, he's basically moving into a team house. And if you guys don't know what a team house is, it's when an organization, a team, a group, a crew, a posse, whatever you want to call it, a clique, they get together and they basically, you know, get into a house. You know, some people have sponsored houses where they don't have to pay a single fucking dime. Because their organization is just like sponsored and all that shit. Then there's teams that kind of support themselves either until they get sponsored or they just support themselves the whole way through. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, they're going to be supporting themselves. Him, Ray, Kruger, and so it's basically it's Thomas, Ray, Kruger, and then I can't remember the fourth person. I, I don't know. It might just be three of them. But basically everybody else that's in Omega is going to be like visiting the team house or moving into the team house. Me personally, I'm probably just going to go with my three friends and do the graphic designer thing and then just meet up with those guys. I don't know. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to tell you is, man, when you do this move, when you make this move, because you have been waiting your whole life for this. For those of you that don't know, um... There was a quote that it was like, am I waiting to die? Well, well, hold on. Let me take a second. Am I dying waiting to live or am I living waiting to die? And that's not even my quote. That's Ray's quote. And, you know, he told Bio that. Well, shit, you guys already know who he is now. So it's like, yeah. But he told Thomas that. And, um, you know, Thomas, it kind of stuck with Thomas and it kind of stuck with me. Uh, except my quote to him is um, you should treat life as a game of chess and if you want to win the game your mo your first move should take you a whole lifetime if you want to win the game and basically let's go into this like you know, if I don't know if you heard this, but like slow and steady wins the race. Well, basically that's what the same concept is, except it's not exactly like saying that. It's referring to like wisdom and like taking your time and things come in time. And you basically, yeah, just, just don't expect like everything to go picture perfect really fast like it might take a while but for sure it's getting there so yeah man um uh, that's pretty much it dude um you got a bright future ahead of you dude you're gonna be doing your thing i'm gonna be doing a whole entertainment thing um so yeah this pretty much wraps up the video uh Anything else I feel the need to tell you? I'll probably tell you over Skype. I don't know. But I'm making new accounts and all that other shit because I kind of got to keep my identity safe and in out of harm's way if I'm going to do this whole entertainment YouTube thing. And I can't have everybody add me on Skype and shit. And no offense to anybody, but like, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but basically today as you guys are watching this video i'm probably gonna be like chilling on some app watching some cool movie so uh yeah this has been rival and i will see you guys whenever because it's vacation time i'm not sure if i should take a break but i'll see you guys whenever